Here's a new fence charger we hooked up today, just purchased and bought today. Hooked up to a uh, deep cycle marine battery. It's got one, however you say that, Joule, probably didn't pronounce it correctly, 15 mile. And it pops good and hard. We've got, uh, I don't have to have multiple ground rods. I've got one ground rod. Actually, I actually do have two ground rods. That's because the one on the left is about three feet long. I had a friend of mine tell me, oh, you don't need a big long one. So we tried it with just a little short one. Didn't work. So the one on the right is a full eight foot uh, ground rod. And it's wet right now because I've just been kind of pouring water on it all day to let it seep down. Make sure it has a good solid connection. So far, so good. And uh, this is the wheat field, as I was telling you about. It's not solid wheat. It just kind of, we've just got wheat scattered out there amongst it. Um, but they are enjoying the feast. Oh, honey. Hey, honey bee. Hey, honey bee. Goats over there. It's grown up pretty high. I mean, there's places out there where uh, the goats almost disappear. The grass is so deep. Say hey, Dottie. Hey, Dottie. Hey, Dottie. This is our rescue puppy. One of the three that Carly Ann found as a tiny uh, two or three week old puppy in the middle of the road. We found homes for the other two, and uh, I guess we found a home for Dottie too. It's right here at Alderman Farms. <laughs> She's a neat dog, and we're glad to have her. I guess the uh, critters have had enough for an evening snack. They look like they're all coming up, probably heading back toward the barn. Back, maybe, maybe back toward the green water bucket you saw that I had back behind the house. As that fence runs all the way back behind the, the house there. They're happy and I'm happy. <laughs>